back. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Burberry Patterson sandals. I think it's new this season. I saw them in the runway. I don't know. They, they look pretty cool. So I got these because I wanted like sandals for the summer. I wanted Chacos. But, you know, these were are like <laughs> the luxury version of them. So, all right, let's start the review. You know, you get the standard Burberry box. The exact size is 44 in European size, which is equivalent to a size 11 here in the U.S. Uh, the price for these are 450 without taxes. So... I'm not sure exactly how much that is, but, you know, once you open the box, it comes with a dust bag, which I don't even know why they put these. I'd never use them, at least not for sandals, who would, but oh well. Uh, as you can see, I already opened this, but I want to do a review of, like, the durability and if they're even worth it. So, right, let's toss that to the side. So, this is the slide or the sandal I would say. So you can see they're already like, I've used them like three times. This thing is just coming off, the Burberry. Whatever, who cares? I guess it's Berry now. Um, these are the, the sandals. They're, I would say they're comfortable though. The foam, oh, this is like a, a soft, like foamy textured thing. This is what I don't like. This is just like, rubber as you can see i've worn them three times and it's already like tearing i feel like after this wears off after like a couple of months it's not gonna be um good because i'm gonna slide and slip so this it has the burberry the stripe the actual print or whatever or i would say the pattern my bad and this is leather this is like you know just a normal strap it feels tough actually it feels really good this it says Burberry obviously so I like them that you could like adjust them to your feet it has like a lot of types of options um, in terms of comfortable I would say they're comfortable they're just I don't think anyone's not everyone's feet is gonna fit exactly where these indentations are but I feel like they get more comfortable as I wear them and what would I rate them from a one to 10? I would say a five, just for the fact that this is gonna eventually rub off and there's gonna be no grip no more. They could have used like a harder type of material, more durable at the bottom because for what, almost 500? This is a little unacceptable, but you know, it's, it's a good style. Do I think they're worth the price? Hmm. Yes or no? If you want to look like, I guess, bougie or whatever, yeah, go for them. Would you? Would I think they would last a couple of years? No. They'll probably last me the whole summer and that's it. But, yeah, you can get some good Instagram pictures with these. My experience with buying these, honestly, was not that great. So, I ordered them three times so at first i saw them uh at Saks. i saw them and then uh they were for 450 right so you know i was all excited and i like ordered it right away and then i noticed that in burberry they had them like on burberry online they had them for cheaper which is weird because they're 450 but they were selling them for 420 on burberry online so i ordered them again and then the next day I was at Louis Vuitton and then I just said, oh, I'm gonna stumble across like to Burberry to see if they have them. And then they happened to have them even though online it said they wouldn't have them. So I bought them again and then, <laughs> yeah. So this is my story with these shoes. I would say you should get them if you don't care that they're gonna not last you a while. If you just want the flashiness of them, go for them. But, yep, that's the end of the video. Let me know if you have any more questions. Just 
Please comment and subscribe. Thank you.